We typically have five or six small groups of campers that are the same age um, and gender, or roughly the same age range and gender. Um, and those groups throughout the day, rather than going, you know, the specific group having to go to art and then having to transfer over to this, almost throughout the whole day they're given choices um, so that they have control over things that they prefer to do. Um, so that you know a kiddo is going because that's something that he wants to do, um, thus decreasing you know, experiencing something that they would rather not be doing. Um, and something else that's great about doing that is that, say they choose to participate in chess, they're going to meet others that enjoy that as well. So we're really hoping to, to make, that they'll make connections through the week, um, through those choices. So those five groups kind of participate in those things through the week with the support of counselors. Uh, and our ratio, like this year we have about 10 campers per cabin, seven of which have an autism spectrum disorder, and at least three ha that are peer models. Um, and, and then with those 10 campers, there are usually six to seven adults that support them as needed, and we can always pull in more if needed. So our ratio is, is pretty high of the staff that's here to support the campers. Um, and then in addition to those volunteers that are here and all of the staff that are here during the whole week are, volunteer, are here voluntarily. Um, in addition to that, we have activity facilitators that come, some for the whole time, some for just a portion, and facilitate specific activities. The peer models are kiddos that are the same age range right now, 8 to 18, and they have to submit an application that I read and um, they are accepted based on um, references that I call and that I, that I have to read through, one page references that others provide, and their purpose here is not to serve as junior counselors or helpers. They are not treated any differently than, than the campers that we have here that have an autism spectrum disorder. They are here to be um, role models, social and behavioral uh, positive role models for the kiddos that we have here because we really believe in the power of, of um, peer models and, and how much they can influence the, the campers. My brother comes out almost every year to volunteer at fishing and he said that's one of the things he loves most is that he can never tell you know which kid is um, a kiddo that's there that has special needs and those that aren't. He's like, and, and that's the way it should be, you know, that we see them all the same. And I loved it, that, you know, that he said that. I think that's so profound that he said, and he said, and that's how they should be treated, you know, that they're all alike.